beautiful, creamy, amazing fettuccine alfredo. This alfredo sauce is so easy to make. It takes less than eight minutes to actually make this whole complete dish. You're gonna see how easy it is. You're gonna taste how delicious it is and your family is gonna crave this. Hey, what's for dinner? Oh, I don't know. What do we have in the fridge? You got cream cheese, you got butter, you got milk? You've got fettuccine alfredo. So here it is, the kitchen bravo way, fettuccine alfredo. I'm gonna show you exactly how we do it and we do it right. To make fettuccine alfredo, it's really super simple. I've already got a pot of boiling water going right here. And um, if you didn't know this, whenever you season your water, you add salt to it, it actually raises the boiling point. So sometimes if you wanna make it boil a little faster, it helps to go ahead and put the salt in. But you're gonna see it kind of bubble up just like that. So I do want this water seasoned really, really well. All right, so first things first, I have my fettuccine noodles. And this is a super quick dish. I mean, you know, like I mentioned, this takes almost no time to make. So I have my fettuccine noodles and they're gonna go into the water just like that. We're gonna let them soften up a bit before we give them a little swirl. Whenever they start to bend, you'll see that they're ready just to kind of take a nice little, nice little bath, which only happens in seconds. So this is like one of the easiest dishes that you're ever gonna make. I mean, it's super satisfying and it's really filling. It's just, I mean, there's no excuse not to do this. So while this is going, this is only gonna take maybe six to eight minutes to boil, which is perfect. It's just enough time to get the Alfredo sauce gone. So this pan right here, I have a nice little two quart sauce pot right here. And this is going to take in half of a stick of cream cheese. There we go. And you hear the sizzle and that's fine. And I also wanna put in half of a stick of butter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the butter and the cream cheese just melt and mix together. All right, so you see the cream cheese and the butter have mixed up very, very well together. Um, a lot of people ask, well, can you use margarine instead of butter? And the answer is no. Um, you know, cream cheese is made from milk, it's a full dairy product, and if you want it to blend really well and not separate, then you have to have a full dairy product for it to blend with, and that would be butter. All right, so I'm gonna turn the heat down here and I'm gonna put in about half a cup of Parmesan cheese, just your grated Parmesan cheese, just like that. I'm gonna mix it all up and it's gonna come together in a really super thick, cheesy sauce. Just a little bit more cheese. Cause I mean, you know, it is an Alfredo. Oh, where'd it go? Sometimes you gotta bang the bottle. And that's okay because then it starts to release its goods. There you go, perfect. Okay, so it's about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And if you have the real stuff, you know, like the hard cheese to grate it right in, that's perfect, that's fine too. Uh, okay, so you can see now it's taking more of a cheese-like consistency where it's starting to string together and that's perfect. So as I continue to stir it, I'm gonna go ahead and put in very slowly about half a cup, I'm sorry, about one cup, of half and half. So it's half cream, half milk. And the reason I want to go slowly is because I want this cheese sauce to be a certain consistency and I don't want to make it too soupy. I don't want it to be too thin. I want it to be uh, just, you know, super creamy and super luscious, but thin enough to coat all of the pasta, but not so thick where it's uh, clumpy. So I see it's really coming together super well. I'm going to go ahead and continue to slowly add in more. Just a little at a time. There we go. All right. That is looking amazing. I'm gonna put in now a little pinch of salt. Perfect. And for just a tiny little bitty bit of spice, just a micro dash of white pepper. That's it. Like literally just a little, that's it. Oh man, look at how creamy and beautiful and luscious this is. Perfect. All right, so I still have mm, about a quarter of a cup of my half and half left, and I'm gonna set that aside because as this sits, it's going to thicken up. As it cools, it's gonna thicken up, and I like to have a little extra reserve um, to be able to thin it out. Now, if you don't have half and half, that's fine. You can use um, heavy cream. I would go with maybe half a cup or three quarters of heavy cream. You can also use regular milk and you can use a full cup of milk. That's fine, that's no big deal. 
uh, nutmeg is actually a very, very good friend of Parmesan cheese. It doesn't take much, but the, the warm nuttiness of the nutmeg actually accentuates the, the salt and the Parmesan cheese, and it makes it just a little bit sweeter and so much more unctuous. It's, it's just incredible. So we're gonna put just a micro dash of nutmeg, just like that. Perfect. Mix that up. Okay. All right, my heat is turned all the way down to low, so I'm gonna let this simmer nicely for a little bit. Let me get a spoon so I can taste. That's a very good sauce. That's a very good sauce. I think it could go with just a dash more nutmeg, just a teeny tiny bit more nutmeg. So. And I'm not putting this in to get like a spicy flavor. I'm putting this in because it really does soften the saltiness of the Parmesan cheese. So you're gonna mix this all up together. Oh gosh, okay. This guy's good, they're set. Let's check on our pasta. Oh, look at this. Fettuccine noodles are nice and boiled. So what I'm gonna do now is grab a, grab a noodle, throw it down on the cutting board here. Let it dry, cool off for a second. And we want it a little bit al dente. Not hard, but definitely not too soft and mushy. Mm. I think it needs about another 30 seconds and we're good. So as this continues to boil, I'm gonna continue stirring this, checking on the thickness of it. This is lovely. All right, turn the heat up just a little bit. Perfect. All right, it's about time for me to get a bowl. So I'm gonna go with I'm going with the big guy because around here there are no such things as small plates of pasta. So I'm going to go with the big guy right here. Let this come back up. Let's see. Beautiful. Okay. So I don't want to strain the pasta. There's no need to get rid of all the water. So I'm simply going to pick it up and put it in the bowl. And the reason I do this is because the starches from the pasta in the water actually help it to, uh, to make the sauces that here to the noodles themselves. So definitely don't rinse your pasta after you boil it. You want the starch. The starch is actually your friend. Okay, so now that I've got all of the pasta out of the pot, nice big bowl of it here, I'm gonna go ahead and very slowly pour in my Alfredo sauce. I think I'm good for this one. All right. So as I pour it in, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of move the pasta around a little bit. I want to get it all coated up really, really well. And I'm not going to go ahead and dump all the Alfredo sauce into the pasta right now. I don't want to do that because I don't want to flood it with sauce. I want to have a nice, even coating over all of the noodles. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is creamy. This is dreamy. This is so flavorful. Oh man. And it's super simple. It is like so easy. It's what? Cream cheese, butter, some half and half of milk, a little bit of nutmeg, some salt, white pepper, and of course the pasta. I mean, everybody loves pasta. It's just one of those things that's just so heartwarming. It's just so inviting. It's just so welcoming. I mean, if your friends don't like a nice, big, warm, you know, plate of pasta or spaghetti or whatever, uh, then have pity on them. Really, have pity on them. Make this dish, convert them, try something new. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and dress this up a little bit. I'm gonna get some basil and we're just gonna go ahead and dress it and plate it and it's good to go. Now, basil bruises very, very easily. So be very careful whenever you're handling it, planting it, you know, that kind of thing. And you usually don't wanna cut it until you're absolutely ready to use it. So to cut the basil, I simply go ahead and stack all of the leaves together with the stems on one end, just like this. And I start to roll it up like a little cigar. So just roll it really super tight, like this. Lovely. So with a very sharp knife, I'm gonna make teeny tiny little bitty chiffonade slices. And that's gonna give me beautiful little ribbons of basil.
perfect. Look at this. The sweetness of the basil is really gonna complement the creaminess of that Parmesan, and it's gonna play off of the nuttiness of the nutmeg as well. This, oh man, can you smell it? Yeah, it smells pretty good. All right, so we've got our pasta, we've got our basil, we're ready to plate. So let me get a nice big plate right here. is all mixed up. It's beautiful. Okay. I want to kind of twirl it a little bit on my tongs, just like you would like see in a restaurant, you know, on the big spaghetti forks. And if you have a spaghetti fork, that's perfect. But look at this, have a beautiful spiral right here. Lovely. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to let, let you stay. That's okay. And I want to go ahead and just kind of roll the spiral tightly on the plate as I release the tongs. Yeah! Sprinkle a little bit of basil on top. And there you have it. There you have it. I'm going to clean this plate up just a little bit because, you know, I don't want my guests to think I give them a dirty plate. So clean you up just a little bit. Lovely. Because it is in the presentation, you know, we do eat with our eyes, even if it is homemade. So here we go. So here we go. Beautiful fettuccine Alfredo. Look at that. You've got the Parmesan and the cream cheese, the butter, the half and half. This is such a rich and savory, delectable sauce that is going to cover the fettuccine noodles so very well. And it's just, oh, you know, it's just so inviting. You have to try it for yourself because, hey, quality control, right? You don't want to give your guests a far dish and you won't. Mm. the right amount of creaminess. It's not drowned in sauce. The pasta looks perfect al dente. This is a dish worth waiting for. This is a dish worth making every night if you can. Switch it up, go for it, go Italian in the kitchen bravo away. So here it is, fettuccine alfredo a la kitchen bravo. Buon appetito. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got so much more to show you.